Right. Okay, so this work is about uh, SparkWell, which is a standard query uh, language for the semantic web and in particular for RDF graphs. And uh, we focus on on the well designed uh, SparkWell fragment, okay, which uh, it has several nice properties. And one of the nice properties is that the evaluation problem is easier uh, for this fragment. It is comp complete, while in general is GS space complete. And uh, in this work, uh, we focus on the operators and optional and union, which is sort of the, the, the core of well designed SparkWell. Combined. Combined and complex, yeah. Um, right. Okay, so what we have then is that the evaluation, uh, evaluation problem is going to be complete, but it becomes tractable for some classes of queries. The most general known condition is based on local tractability, and then there is, but uh, it, it is not clear what is the limit of tractability. So the main question is try to understand which are the tractable classes in, in this case, right? And the main contribution is uh, uh, is an answer to, to these questions, and in, in particular, we show that the tractable classes are precisely those of bonded domination width. And just to say that the notion of domination width is just an application of, uh, of tree width, okay? As, as we shall see, okay? Right, so uh, an important tool is the following. It is known that uh, queries with an, an, an optional are equivalent to the so-called well-designed pattern trees. And when we have a union, they are equivalent to well-designed pattern forest, right? So in this talk, I will focus just on well-designed pattern forest, okay, from now on, okay? So, basics. So, we will fix uh, a set of identifiers i and a set of variables b, both are uh, infinite. An RDF graph will be a finite set of triples of identifiers, right? And it is called a graph because each triple can be seen as a net from S to O with, with a label P, right? And uh, in, in this context, a conjunctive query or just CQ will be something like this, right? We just have a conjunction of triples and we can have variables or constant, right? Or identifiers. We can have some free variables. The rest of the variables, as usual, are existentially quantified, right? And the semantic is the usual semantics. We just look all the possible homomorphisms and then we project over the free variables. And a full conjunctive query is a query where all the variables are free, okay? There is no projection on the query. Okay, so this is the definition of, of a well-designed pattern tree. It's just a pair, right? We have a T, which is a rooted tree, okay? And we have a, a function path that, that, that match uh, each node T to a full conjunctive query, okay? And we also have a, a connectivity property that says that for all variables, if we look at all the nodes that contain these variables, right, uh, this is connected. This is a, a subtree. Okay? And the semantics of a patent tree is, is as follows. Okay, so some definitions. A subtree T prime of P will be a subtree of T that contains the root, okay? Something like that, okay? Part of T prime is just a, a, the full conjunctive query that contains all the atoms that appear in the that appear in the in the tree, right? The full conjunctive query, the, right? And a, a child of T prime is going to be a node that is not in, in T prime, but the parent is in T prime, right? Something like that, right? Okay. Now the semantic is as follows. Uh, H is in the answer of, of P over G. G is an RDF graph, right? Uh, if there is a subtree T prime, right? So that uh, H is a homomorphism from part of T prime to G. And H is maximal, right? Which means that uh, for each child T, it cannot be extended to that child, right? 
So we have something like this. H is going to be a homomorphism from G prime to G, right? And for each possible uh, child, right, there is no uh, homomorphism from T that is compatible with, with H, right? So H is maximum, right? So this is the, the definition of a uh, pattern priest. I hope it is clear. Um, right. And uh, a well-designed pattern forest is just a union of pattern trees, right? And the semantic is, is just a union. Okay, and the main computational problem that uh, we consider here is, is the evaluation problem. We have a class of pattern forest which is fixed, right? And in the input, we have a pattern forest F in this class, right? C, an RDF graph G, and a mapping H. And, and the question is whether H is in the answer of F over G, right? Good. Okay, so this is the main theorem, and it says that, okay, assume that FPT is different from W1, and this is just uh, an assumption from a parameterized complexity theory that is believed to be true, right? So uh, if we pick a class C that is recursively enumerable of pattern forest, then the evaluation problem for C is in P time if and only if the class C has bounded domination width. Um, and it means that the domination width of each pattern in, the, in C is bounded by some constant K, universal constant. Okay? And uh, the proof is based on, uh, on, the cor on the corresponding characterization for conjunctive queries, which is based on three width. Okay? And recall that the three width of a CQ is a measure of the three likeness of, of the query. And we will define the following. The core tree width of a CQ is the tree width of the core of, of the CQ, right? And the core that the core is just the minimal subquery of Q that is equivalent to the query itself. Okay? So, okay, this is the, the characterization for the case of conjunctive queries, right? That says that uh, the evaluation problem for C is in P time if and only if C has bounded core tree width, okay? And we need that the um, arity of the signatures in, in the queries to be bounded. But this is true in our case because we just have triples, that it is three, okay? So we can apply this theorem. And uh, the tractability part is via the existential capability game. And the idea is as follows. Instead of checking whether there exists a homomorphism, one checks that there exists a winning strategy in this game for one of the players called the duplicator. And this can be done in polynomial time. This is always complete, but sometimes it's not correct. But one can show that if the core tree width of, of the query is less than k, then it's, it's always correct. Okay? Then if we have a class C so that all the CQs has a core tree width at most k, then we just can apply the existential k p will gain with the same k, right, to, uh, to, to solve the problem in polynomial time. Okay? And the hardness part is via a reduction from the clique problem and one show W1 hardness, which is a notion of hardness from parameterized complexity. Okay. Right, so and, and this classification can be extended to the case of unions of CQs, okay? UCQs of this form, right? And now, I mean, it's precisely the same, but now, now the notion of core is different, right? Now, uh, we need to simplify first uh, the decision in the following form. I mean, if, if, if one of the decision maps to another decision, right, we can simplify the target, right, because we have containment, and then we take the code, right? So now it's, it's, it's precisely the same, but now the notion of code is just the, the code uh, for the case of UCQs, right? So we have the following, the, uh, the core tree width of a UCQQ, right? Uh, it's going to be the minimum case at that for every disjunct, right, uh, there exists another disjunct with core tree width at most k that maps to the, to the first one, right? So this is the, the core tree width of a UCQ, okay? 
Okay, so now, okay, let me explain the idea behind domination width, and I will start first with the with the case of of patents, right? When we have just a single patent tree in, instead of of a of a patent forest, okay? So, okay, suppose that we want to know whether H is in the answer of of the query, okay? So we can first check whether H is a potential so, uh, solution, which means that we check whether we have a, a subtree T prime, right? So that H is a, is a homomorphism from T prime, right? And uh, this can be done in polynomial time. This is not a problem. This is not difficult. And now we need to check that H is, uh, is maximum. This is the, the hard part, right? And, and this is just the same as uh, simply and this is the key observation here, that, that this is just the same as uh, checking maximality is, is just evaluating a user queue, right? So checking that uh, H is not in the answer, right? Which means that H uh, is not maximal. It's equivalent to checking that, that H uh, is in the following user queue, where we have one possible secure for each child, right? And for a particular child, right, the UCQ is as follows. It's just we have uh, all the triples, right, that are in T prime and in the child. And the free variables is, is X, which is just the variables that are in T prime, right? So evaluating this, this CQ is equivalent just to checking that we can extend to that particular child, right? So H is not maximal if this two CQ is, is uh, contains H, right? Then we can apply just uh, the tractability for UCQs, right? So we define just the domination width of P is going to be the maximum core three width of uh, all these UCQs over all possible T primes, right? Okay, and uh, I call it domination width just because whenever we, ha we have domination with uh, of P less than K, what we have is that when we look uh, a subtree T prime and a child, right, this child is always dominated by, by a different child, or maybe the same, right, uh, in the sense that there exists a homomorphism, right, from this child uh, to, to T1, and, and, the, and the core tree width is of of this child is uh, less than k, right? Maybe it's not uh, the best name, but okay. And uh, what we have is is that whenever the domination width of p is less than k, we have tractability because we just can exploit the existential PV game, right? So we just check maximality, but now we just use the existential PV game, right? So so this this part is. Simple, right? And at this point, it's it just an, an application of tree width, right? It just look in the pattern tree, just defining some UCQs, and just imposing that the tree width of these two UCQs is bounded, right? So, and now the, the, the general case is it's a slightly more complicated, okay? But the idea is at the end is it, it's the same. But now we just need to define properly the you take use that that we look right that's the main difference so in this case what we have is that uh, okay we have a a pattern forest right and suppose we want to know that h is is in the in the answer of the query and we do the same as before we check that h is a potential solution but now what we have is that Potentially, we have uh, several subtrees, right? Where H is a potential solution, right? Instead of one, as the other case. In this case, we just have two for simplicity, okay? And uh, now what we have is, is the following, right? So H is not going to be in the answer if it is not maximal in both, right? If it is not maximal here and it is not maximal here, which means that there exists nodes, uh, there exists a child in both, right? So that age can be extended to these children, right? 
And then to check that age can be extended to these children, right? It's just equivalent to uh, evaluate a CQ, right? Which is as follows. The CQ looks something like this, right? We just uh, consider all the triplets that are in, in T prime and in T prime prime, and we plug the two children, right? But we need to be careful because we need to, of course, to rename all the new variables that are introduced in the children, right? To avoid conflict, right? So, and then what we have is that H uh, is not in the answer of the query, right? If and only if H is in the following UCQ, which is just all the union of all these possible CQs for all possible choice of children, right? Which is something like this, right? Then it's a union over all possible choice of the children, and we need to rename, right? And this is just a particular case where we have two, but the idea of domination with is, well, in, in general, we could have any, any possible set of uh, subtrees, right? So the domination width of f is going to be the maximum called tree width of all these UCQs over all possible set s of subtrees. But the important thing now is, is, that, is that we need to take the maximum not over all possible set of subtrees but just uh, over the important ones, right? Which are basically the set that are, uh, that we view, that, that, that we see when we check whether storm H is a potential solution, basically, right? As in this case. In this case, for instance, we check uh, whether H is a potential solution, and then we see this to T prime and T prime prime, right? So, we just need to, to focus on certain particular set S. And the formal definition of this possible set is as follows, right? We say that, that, the, that the variables of all the subtrees is the same, is X. And we need to impose certain closure property, right? And the idea of this closure property is that whenever we, we pick a subtree outside S, it cannot be mapped uh, inside S, right? The, the precise definition of the property is not uh, important, but the thing is that we just need to consider certain set S, uh, S of subtrees, right? So, okay, this is the definition. And uh, in summary, what we have is that the rentability bar, again, is an application of the existential capability game. Uh, and for the hardness part, we apply, as in the case of connected queries, a reduction from click, but we, we need to do something. We need to use some basic properties of pattern forest with large domination group, okay? So, uh, in summary, the main theorem is just telling us that uh, the key parameter for, in this case, is, uh, is just three with, as in the case of connected queries, basically, okay? And let me finish quickly with, with the case of union free queries, where we just have one patent tree instead of a patent forens. And what we have in that case is that uh, domination width, domination width uh, collapses to a simpler notion that we call branch tree width, okay? And the notion is as follows. We have a, a, a patent tree, right? And we define the branch P sub T of T to be just the subtree given by the path from, from the parent, right, uh, to the root, right? So, so the branch is gonna be this subtree, right? And, okay, we define a secure in the natural way, right? We just take uh, all the triples that are in the branch and in T, right? And the free variables will be just the variables that are in the branch, which is X. Okay, and the branch tree width of P is the maximum core tree width over all these possible uh, CQs, right? Over all possible T, right? Then uh, what we have is that what we can show is that the domination width uh, is precisely the branch tree width for all patent tree P. Right? 
So, so basically, what we have here is that uh, the idea of domination is not needed in, in the case of patentry, but in the general case, it's actually needed. One, one can show that, uh, one can show that uh, we cannot simplify uh, the notion of domination with, in the general case of patent form, as we did here. Okay. okay? So some final remarks. We show a characterization of the tractable classes uh, of patent forests, and in particular for well-designed uh, spark well resisted to an optional and union. Uh, and as in the case of, of conjunctive queries, this characterization is, is based on a dichotomy, right, which is as follows. A class uh, C is, is either tractable or W1 hard, okay? And actually what we have is that the fragment that, that we consider here is kind of maximal with this property because one can show, that, I mean, it was shown that the dichotomy fails when, when we add the filter operator and also when we add the select operator, which is just projection, okay? So this is an indication that of the fact that uh, the fragment we consider here is, is maybe the maximal fragment for which we can hope for a nice characterization of the tractable classes, right? But uh, still in, in, in these cases, one could try to, for instance, instead of characterizing tractability, characterizing a relaxation, for instance, try to characterize the, the fixed parameter uh, classes, right? And this is the main open problem, I would say, which is try to characterize fixed parameter tractability when we have projection, right? And, uh, well, recently, a characterization was shown for a particular type of queries that is called simple queries, but the general case is, is not clear. It's, it, it's still open, okay? That's it. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, one could apply all these all these measures, fractional hypertrivit, and so on. But uh, I'm not sure. But I, I, I mean, what? Tenary, but but. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, one, yeah, yeah I mean, it's, uh, okay, this, this apply for uh, basically the more general setting where maybe you replace the cues by maybe this general, I mean, general signatures and, and you can use a fractional hypertree with an, all this notion and it's, it's, it's going to be fine. But, but a precise characterization in the unbought detality case is, is different. That, that is kind of complicated. Because... Uh, Right, right, exactly, I mean. So, this is for fixed case for real time determinant query. Yeah. Like it's a fixed data that Yeah. What about, for the branch query, it's really the same, right? So what about the domination? The domination, yeah. The same for fixed case and fixed case, right? Right, well, the first thing is that uh, for, for the case of CQs, Okay, here, here, here. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but here we are kind of working with with core tree And in that case, when you fix k, is 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 actually MP complete, right? So, yeah, yeah. But but uh, right. So in the case of domination width, from from the definition, you can get a pi to p upper bound, but it is not clear whether it is tight. No, but for the for the case of uh, patent trees, no, no, uh, MP complete because it's 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 again core tree. Yeah, yeah, I mean, 
Yeah. But this is going to be uh, in MP. But it's, it's, a, it's a consequence of this proposition, because if you apply directly the definition of domination, of, of domination width over just one pattern tree, it is not clear that it's in MP in principle. But this simplification tells you that it is in, in MP, because you just need to loop each of the nodes and check. So, so it's, a, it's a consequence of this proposition. Uh, yeah, I mean, right. No, no, this is case fix. Okay, no, but I'm asking if case not fixed, you decided. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think it's, uh, it should be MP also. If, if I'm, I'm 